A number of uh, bispecifics are, are currently in development for treatment of follicular lymphoma, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, as well as other lymphomas. And um, um, masunatuzumab was approved in treatment of follicular lymphoma. Um, and several of these uh, bispecific antibodies have been studied in um, uh, phase two clinical trials, but there are no um, on currently ongoing clinical trials that I'm aware of that are comparing these bispecific antibodies to one another. So we conducted a mic or much suggested indirect comparison of clinical trials where patients were enrolled on different bispecific antibodies and specifically uh, we compared tapcaritamab and masunatuzumab and uh, we found that uh, both antibodies were of course highly efficacious, comparable in their efficacy. Numerically abcaritamab was associated uh, with a somewhat higher response rate. Uh, what's also um, important to note is that those studies ran into in slightly different areas where uh, there were more COVID events uh, in, uh, in, on the abcaritamab study uh, compared with masunatuzumab study. Also patients enrolled on abcaritamab Abcaritamab study were slightly um, um, uh, more heavily pretreated. They had more, uh, more more cases of prior autologous stem cell transplant. Um, but nevertheless, uh, progression-free survival was comparable between abcaritamab treated patients and uh, masunatuzumab treated, pa treated patients. Um, and in terms of safety, um, it was good for both uh, drugs. However, there were slightly fewer cases of uh, CRS and uh, neurotoxicity with abcaritamab compared with uh, masunatuzumab. So in sum, um, both bispecific antibodies are highly efficacious in treatment of relapsed refractory follicular lymphoma, um, numerically high responses with abcaritamab, uh, and um, uh, maybe slightly better safety compared with masunatuzumab.